Hey everyone. The other day I noticed my rusty old 1977 Linux condenser unit was running even though the indoor air handler was off. So I needed to determine the reason why. And it's pretty simple if you know how these things work. If you notice that your condenser unit is running even though the indoor unit is not, you want to immediately turn off the power to the condenser unit by pulling the contactor or switching off the breaker to avoid any potential damage. By desire and necessity, I like to repair my own equipment. If you want to do this, you do so at your own risk. So how this works is when the thermostat calls for cooling, it closes a contact that tells the indoor unit to turn on and sends a 24 volt control signal to a relay coil or contactor as it's called in the business, which is in the outdoor condenser unit. The coil pulls the main power contacts closed, which turns on the compressor and the fan. When the thermostat is satisfied that the target temperature has been reached, it opens the contacts. Now as the contactor ages, it can get stuck in the closed position and you have to replace it. So that is what I believe happened to mine. So I ordered this contactor here, which has a definite purpose. You know, I hope I have a definite purpose in life, just like this contactor does. But anyway, I'm going to take this thing out and put it in the unit and see if it gets it back up and running. Or, I guess in this case, gets it not running when it doesn't need to be. It would be nice to have air conditioning in the impending heat wave and all the other gloom and doom that's going on right now. So let's get on it. So I pulled the fuse block, so the circuit's dead. So the lines come in here. This is the crankcase heater because it's unswitched. These contacts on the side are the 24 volt control voltage. And these go into the unit itself. So this is the line side, this is the load side. So I gotta replace everything with the new unit here. This is an open type unit. This one's closed. Okay, the new contactor is in. Disconnects back in. <laughs> good. Apply power and uh, should be back in business. Okay, she's on her own. All original parts except the capacitor and contactor. 1977 unit. Just checking out the bad unit here. I have a 24 volt transformer, the meter. Yeah, I get continuity with no power without the coil energized. So its contacts are stuck, probably welded or something. I pop the top off and Yep, those contacts are welded down. I wonder if they'll pry up. I mean, this is trash. I'm just playing around with it now. Let's 
strange. Maybe it came up now. Not really welded, they didn't feel stuck. I thought maybe the contacts just got old and crusty and they welded shut, but no, it's uh, the plunger on the solenoid is stuck in the down position and it won't come up even if I yank on it. Oh, now I got it. That's loose now. It was just wedged in there. Maybe it corroded or something. But yeah, it's uh, enough of this. Thanks for watching.